Yo, Seven Citizens, I hope you're having a great week and ready for whatever challenges the verse throws at us. Now, with 3.18 due out today, or possibly released as of the release of this video, I thought it was a good idea to go over some thoughts I had myself on how best to be prepared for this day one wipe, because during the excitement to log in and get started on our journeys, it's easy to forget some basics which will just cause more work later on. Now, before we get to that though, if you'd like my work and feel like I deserve it, then please like, subscribe, and comment on the video as it greatly helps a small channel like mine grow. I do appreciate all of you and enjoy our interactions in the comments, and so because I know you're all anxious to get into the verse, let's get this quick guide started. Alright, with 318 we have a new viable option to start from, that being Crusader. It now has a much quicker exit and entry time through the atmosphere, so those days of the long forever trip just to be able to jump away are gone, which means it's now a good option to consider as your starter planet. Now I have a video I will link at the end of this one that specifically breaks down each starter area and which is best for you depending on your needs and profession. But here I will just say that New Babbage is popular for those wanting to jump into bunkers even though there are bunkers in other areas as well. Area 18 is popular for mining and also due to its awesome store Cubby Blast which is a quick way to get armor and weapons right out of your wake up hab assuming you have enough credits to purchase anything. Now for doing ship weapons or components again assuming you have any credits New Babbage and Crusader are your two best spots for those planets, having great ship stores for upgrades. Hurston is one of the worst all-around places to start, so if you're looking to avoid a rush, I would choose that place. Now before leaving your starter planet, please remember to check your local inventory and go ahead and equip your ship items or even your personal items that will all start out with you on that starter planet of choice. You will want to equip whatever you can while you're still there, whether that be armor or weapons to ship components. And if you have any of your paint themes, which will all be there as well, you can go ahead and apply them all before leaving the planet. This is one of those things I see so many people forget and it will save you so much time later on and keep you from having to go back to those starter planets after you've already left. Now this one's super important, and while it can be tempting to just fly straight out to do a mission to start earning some bank, please do not forget to land at a station of your choice and go to the medical facility to set your respawn point. A little tip for those who do not know is that any L1 station will house a medical facility, a weapons and armor store, so those are good places to set up camp. Alright, if you don't like confrontation or possibly running into pirates or other players, then you might want to do things that are a little less likely to be done by other players, if that is such a thing. You can bet your bottom dollar that bunkers will be slammed with folks trying to earn quick money. Some of the out of way missions might not be so busy, such as picking up cargo or investigation missions, etc. I would also expect pirates to be prevalent and looking for quick ways to make money. I don't think we'll see mining ships held for ransom since miners are not going to have money to pay pay the first day or two anyway until they get settled, but I would still expect to see many trying to kill others to take armor, weapons, etc., especially at known FPS spots. Now racing or rock mining will likely be decent ways to make money the first few days, and if you're into salvaging this might be one of the best ways to play the odds, especially since you don't have to put any money up front in ship components, whereas the prospector owners will need to buy a mining head at the very least. Doing some low key or even missions that are older and not the newest shiniest might be the best way to make some credits without the worry of competition. Also for you bounty hunters out there you should be on the lookout for more crime stats and security post Korea retake missions popping up so you're going to want to be in the crusader system for those. Alright, one of the final things I want to touch on here is just to be patient, not only with the game and its performance, but the devs who have worked tirelessly to get it out, and even the players. Everyone is excited and ready to jump in and earn credits, and it's easy to be selfish and forget we're all in a game world together. So as always, I like to say be kind to your fellow gamer, enjoy the moment, but not at the expense of ruining someone else's fun, and stay positive, and enjoy the new patch, guys.